I'm going to show you how I light up my boost maker. I'll get some paper first, get that on fire. Just put it in. Get a quick push down. Put a little bit of my fuel on top of it. Get some flame. Plenty of flame. Bit for, push a bit more down. So at each stage you need to get a little bit of flame out of it. Oh, here we go. Good stuff. More, more fuel. Plenty pack really loose at this stage. As you can see, there's plenty of smoke and flame here at the moment. Well, we're smoked out already, so we'll step back a bit. To get really really hot in there. Just little puffs each time. Nothing too exciting. There's a puff of flame again. That's what I'm looking for. Now I continue to just pack it right up to the top on my smoker. Pack it down fairly tight. All the little sticks and bits and pieces so you want to get a good coal base in there. Whoop. Little puffs again, just getting it going. Well, you can see really, really smoking well now. Now, something that I like to do, normally this will smoke for about two or three hours like this if I fill it right up, but I'm not going to do it. This is only for demonstration purposes. It will smoke really well. See, this is a couple of puffs. Well, with a couple of puffs, it lights back up again. So... You can see that's good. Okay. Now what I've normally put on top is keep it a bit cooler for my bees. Get it really, really smoking good. Okay, normally I do then. I've got a little practice here, got some little sawdust. This is good stuff. Keeps the smoke cooler, keeps everything going, so I've got some sawdust in my hand here. I'll just dump a layer of that on top. That keeps it cooler on top. Alright, let's put it on top. Put the lid on. Well, this is only about half full, right? So normally I'd fill the smoker right up. And look what I've got here. It's a windy day. So even if I was working on a windy, windy day, I've got top smoke. And this will not generally last me two hours. And I just, what I do is just take my bucket of fuel with me to the hive. And, uh, there, and it smells absolutely beautiful. This, let me feel it. Smoke coming off is cold. So it's not going to hurt the bees. The smoke coming off is nice and cold. So it's not going to hurt my bees and burn them. They hate hot smoke. Let me feel that again. Coming off here. If anything, it's a, little, it's, a, it's a nice, cool, aromatic smoke. It smells like pine needles. And that's how I do my smoke for keeping the bees. This is Ray. Thanks very much.